These are the red crabs of Christmas Island. Once a year, tens of millions of them takes on a difficult journey from their homes towards the sea. Their sheer number of the migration makes this one of the most spectacular natural wonders on Earth. Today, I want to understand the secret of the big land crab migration and their amazing march towards the sea. After seeing the video of their big migration, I have so many questions. First, why do land crabs need to move to the beach? And why did they need to move all at once? And the big question, how did they know when to move? To find out, I've decided to visit Professor Liu, who is the leading land crab expert in Taiwan, to show me Taiwan's very own crab migration. After the professor pointed around, I saw dozens of crab all congregating. Now, looking at this mama crab and all the crabs surrounding me, I think I've discovered their secret. The crabs all come to the beach at once to lay their eggs. As the professor explained to me, even though these are land crabs, their eggs and larvae still need to grow in the sea before returning to shore. And all the mother crabs are really deliberate with their egg laying migration timing. Only when the monsoon season has arrived will the crabs start to move towards the sea. This is because even though these land crabs have evolved to live on land, they still breathe with gills. The moisture provided by the monsoon creates a perfect wet pathway for the crabs to traverse on. However, when it comes to spawning, the rain is only half the equation. Scientists have discovered that crabs only spawn during the receding high tide in the last quarter of the moon. How they manage to time this perfectly is really, really beyond me. And once they get close to the shoreline, the male and the female crabs were made and get prepared for the spawning.我一直都很好奇，他们是怎么知道要在同时这个晚上一起往海边前进的？就变成说他们可能就是感受到月光的变化，等于说月光会调节它的那个繁殖的荷尔蒙，母蟹就是性成熟的母蟹大概会在同一
At the moment the mother crab released the egg into the sea, the second stage of crab life begins. The egg turns into zoea, which is the larvae of the crustacean form. They will stay in the sea for about a month before returning to land as little juvenile crab. The little crabs now have to take on the same path their mother took just a month before, a trail that is still full of obstacles and dangers. The returning number are so massive, they carpet a road to turn them red. And the local residents have to sweep them aside and away from their houses. And remember, this happens once a year. So now these little crabs, like any crustaceans, will molt to slowly grow bigger. And after multiple molts, they can finally become the adult crab that we saw earlier. Now you might notice both the mother and the children crabs migrate in numbers, all at the same time. For example, on Christmas Island, there could be up to 40 million crabs all migrating towards the shore. Their number is so massive, the migration blocks the road and shut down many local activities. I mean, just look at this. Now, this also happens a lot with many different kinds of animals in nature, such as tiny ants or termites, which have nuptial flights altogether, or the great buffalo and zebras, which migrate across the plain in numbers. And the reason is that numbers protect them. Even if a predator takes away one or two of them, the whole species can still survive. However, this strategy only works if their population is above a certain threshold. This small road, I think, the size of the population is big. 可能是它生存的一个必要策略、必要的条件。嗯，不然某些数量少，可能在整个江海过程中，大家都折损掉了。对，嗯。And this does not just apply to the land crabs we saw. All the other crustaceans that migrate to be reproduced are in this situation as well, such as the hermit crab or the coconut crab, to name a few. During the early tens, the hermit crab's numbers were decimated due to tourists taking away their shells, which is vital to their survival, and coconut crabs suffering from road kills as badly as all the land crab. 如果他们真的就这样消失了，我们就不管他们。他对生态会有什么影响？对啊，他是多重身份的消费者哦，但是他还有一个很重要的身份是所谓的分解者的功能。陆蟹在食物链里面也有也有很重要的角色。那在物质循环的角色来讲，又可能也是非常重要。就在他生活的这这个环境来讲。All right, but it's not all doom and gloom here. Substantial efforts have been made to help our little eight-legged friends survive. Abroad at the Christmas Island, a giant crab bridge was built to help crab cross more easily. And roadkill-proof cars are made to sweep away the crabs without killing them. In Taiwan, events have been organized during the peak migration season to help the land crab cross better. Designated hermit crab havens are also created, with people providing extra shells to give to our little hermit crabs. And signs, lots and lots of signs are made to help people notice them more. And I think that is the point of this video, to have more people become aware of our little crab friends' great migration in the dark. And with our help, they will have a better chance of reaching the ocean, despite all the difficulties in their way. Thank you for watching. Hey, thank you for watching this far, and I want to let you know that my channel now has membership. As members, you will be able to see more behind the scenes videos of really cool stuff that might not fit into the main videos that I want to share with you guys and also an exclusive member-only Discord channel where a bunch of animal lovers will come and talk, including myself. But the main point of this membership really is to help me reach my dream of going abroad and to film all the cool animals on Earth. For example, the largest ant on Earth in Malaysia, the orchid mantis, the great migration of the buffalo, uh, the cool animals in Madagascar. And with climate change and all that damaging their environment, I might not be able to see them 10 years from now. All right, that'll be all for today. And remember, as always, stay wild and stay curious. I'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.